What a busy show that was. Kenneth Joe Lane responsible for my favourite ring that I've got lots of compliments about on holiday as well. And we also have something brand new today. Joanne Darbost is here a little bit later on with a, a new invention. If you're a large-breasted lady, or if you're a lady where on your side at night when you're sleeping, you get extreme discomfort, these could help. They go in between the breasts. They're a breast support. They're such a good idea. Three different types of uh, person can use it. And obviously, if you're a side sleeper, this is going to be perfect for you. 433129. We're continuing before we get to our covers. If you know somebody that suffers from incontinence and bedwetting, then we've got the answer in this hour, which you'd expect given that it's Taboo Health Solutions. A once a quarter helping aid for some of those key problems that we all suffer. Now, though, it's a brand new problem. If you know somebody who's larger breasted and suffers when they sleep at night time because of the weight of one breast on another, this could well be the solution. Joanne could have the answer. The Cush Breast Support is a comfort support. It's not a soft pillow, it's a hard pillow. 433129 is the item number, and it's £25. Brand new. You're amongst the first to see it. Small, medium, and large, all available. So, Joanne, lovely to have you here. Lovely to be here, thank you. And in a nutshell, why do women need this? Because obviously, there's lots of people with larger breasts that be sitting at home going, they know about my problem. There's loads of other people going, huh? <laughs> well, um, there are, uh, it's a fact in the press recently that women's breast sizes are increasing over the years <laughs> due to various factors. And so one of the things that I find, um, you know, you think if somebody's sleeping at night and they're lying on their side and they've got the gravity and pressure... Yeah, because of... breasts could weigh a lot. Exactly, exactly. Big. They've got no respite at all during the day. Mm. When they're lying on their side at night they wake up, they've got aches and discomfort in the morning. Right. So the idea of the Cush Breast Support is that it's an anatomically shaped breast support that if you are a size sleeper, um, size C cup and above, if you sleep on your size just before you go to sleep, pop the Cush in the cleavage space um, before you sleep, and then what it actually effectively does is it helps reduce the pressure from gravity, that for, in other words, taking off the pressure from the upper breast on the lower breast. So um, there are three sizes available. So the small, medium and larger here, if you know that's you already, and it, it might well be again, you're sitting there nodding, you're going, I wonder if this could work for me. All those years I've had that problem. What if this did work? For £25, would you like to try it? This is how you choose your sizes. Let's have a look at the sizes. So it's for all different types of breasts, whether they've got breast implants, whether you're pregnant, or whether you're naturally big. Absolutely. So I mean, obviously, talk there us are, through them. Okay, there are obviously many variables in, in uh, bust size and volume. So what we've tried to do is sort of bring it down to, to as close as we possibly can. If you're borderline, by the way, tend to go to the smaller one. If you, uh, if you want to buy a small, that, um, you would be having breast implants, would be buying small. Absolutely any size. Any you size at all. Small. Okay. Pregnant with breast implants also, any size of breast implants, still buy the small. If you're pregnant with natural breasts, size C or D cup, small. Okay. Going on to the medium, if you're pregnant with natural breasts, double D um, and higher, or natural breast size C and larger. Now, there's only one exception to that. If you've got double D, natural breasts, and have a significantly wide cleavage space, then you would buy the large. But the large is actually, that's the only uh, customer that would buy a large. Okay. And large upwards is double D size and above. Natural breasts, but with a significant cleavage space. Okay. Super. So if you get this, when you get it, say you, you want the small because mm -hmm. you're um, the majority of people, I imagine, who would be um, watching us with breast implants, that would be you. If you're pregnant with breast implants of any size, it would be you. And if you're pregnant with natural breast C or D cup, this would be you. What do you do with it? Before you go to sleep at night, pop it in between the cleavage space as you're lying on your side and it will help keep the upper breast away from the lower breast. If you're menopausal, what's ideal, you can actually put this in the fridge for an hour beforehand, it will chill it, very cooling and comforting. Mm -hmm. um, it's suitable whether you've got, as, as we've discussed, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, that's absolutely fine. Now, as you're knocking there, the reason it's not a soft cushion is because a soft cushion would fold in under the weight of the upper breast. Therefore, it wouldn't give the sport that it needs. Yeah. So the idea is it keeps the upper breast away and obviously the larger busted you are, the more significant difference you're going to see because it helps keep the uh, breast away and stops the shoulder from pulling forward and down. That's why so again. many, yeah, yeah, so many larger breasted ladies wake up in the morning and they've got constant aches and pains. You could even be considering breast reduction surgery because there's no respite at oh, all yeah, 24 hours a day. But this way you can actually have respite at well, night. Try this at least because you've got your 30 days and I imagine you'll find out really quickly. We've got less than 40 in the large. 
We've got less than 50 in the small. We've got the most of the medium. And a quick reminder, we'll tell you again in a minute of the sizes you go for. It's not just if you've got small breasts, medium breasts or large breasts. What do people think of it, though? Let's have a look at some of these reviews. Now, already, where has it been used? Um, we've, uh, first of all, it's, it comes with uh, two medical endorsements, one from a chiropractor and one from a plastic surgeon who have both endorsed the product. Um, I've sent the product out to various ladies to do some independent testing. And this is one of them? Yeah, uh, whether you are, you know, there's a, pr a pregnant um, tester that's reviewed it, one mm. lady with a double F cup uh, bust has used it. Oh, let's just read them out quickly. Look at the bottom bit. I wake up most mornings with aching back, neck and shoulders, especially from sitting at a desk most of the day. She says, I cannot thank you enough. Using Kush, I woke up without the usual aches and tension. I honestly didn't expect such instant results. I could wax lyric, lyrical about this all day. Bust for justice, that's funny. <laughs> um, I'm almost seven months pregnant now and I have to sleep on my side. For someone with larger breasts who suffers with indents in my shoulders, I always wake up with discomfort in my back. I tried Kush and it felt a little strange to begin with, but I slept soundly. And I was astonished in the morning as my neck and back are usually so uncomfortable, but the discomfort seems to have disappeared. I'll definitely continue to use it. Larger bust busted women at last can breathe a sigh of relief. And all I'd say actually is get it and try it and see what you think of it. And I need to tell you those sizes again, just quickly to make it really clear which size you go for, because they look very substantially different and they are according to the type of breast that you've got. So here's your reminder. The small size, you order this if you've got any size breast implants or if you're pregnant with breast implants or if you're pregnant and your natural breasts are CD cut. The medium is for pregnant with natural breast DD and above or natural breast C and above. The large is only for natural breast double D plus that have significant cleavage space. So if you're double D plus and you don't have significant cleavage, go, go for, for the medium. medium. What I would say are the two things. What I would say is uh, don't use any lotions, creams or talcs because it will cause this, it to come out. Yeah. If you are not a true side sleeper and you move around a lot in the night, it doesn't mean you don't, it, you can't use a cush, just wear a camisole top, etc. To and in, also give I it do. three or four nights use because yeah. you're not used to a product there. Yeah. So sometimes it takes two or three nights just to get used to it and then you'll find it's natural. Very good point. And if you don't want to move around too much in your sleep, then you need a feather bed topper <laughs> and a memory foam. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thank and you well very much, done. Debbie. You've been watching QVC for 11 years. How was it for you? Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Joanne. Thank Lovely you. to speak to you. Thank, Thank you. you ever so much.